it's Heather Moxie and welcome to my channel and my first video of 2017. I've been wanting to start this year by tackling a major goal of mine which is to be more productive and I've been becoming more aware of the fact that in order to do this I definitely need a desk. I'm just a desk person. After a little bit of research I realized it would be much easier and cheaper to go the IKEA makeover route rather than spend the money on a complete DIY. So in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how we made over this IKEA desk into a custom piece for our little office corner. To get started, assemble the desk and begin working before attaching the tabletop. Our desk was assembled before I knew what I wanted to do with it, so I removed all of the items and pulled it away from the wall. For supplies, you'll need chalk paint, paint brushes, sandpaper or sanding block, antiquing wax, a waxing brush, and a dry and damp cloth. The chalk paint I used for this project is a DIY recipe from a previous video, so I'll link that video and all of the supplies used in the description box. I chose to go with chalk paint to keep prep time at a minimum. Bare IKEA furniture often comes with a clear lacquer, and to be completely honest with you, I was not in the mood to sand this desk. So one way to get around that is to use chalk paint since it adheres to almost any surface and you don't have to be extremely delicate when applying it. I used a simple paintbrush and gave my desk about two coats of paint. Once you're happy with the paint coverage, you can begin distressing the tabletop. Now of course you can skip this step, but most of you know that I'm all for rustic looking furniture, so I sanded down any areas that would naturally get worn down from years of use. I distressed the corners and a few areas on the surface to give the ridges more definition. then moved on to the antiquing wax. This was my first time using any form of wax when finishing a project, and although it went very well, I may have technically applied this incorrectly. So thankfully this doesn't affect the end result of my project, but if you decide to use this method, pay close attention to the directions for your brand since it may vary slightly. According to the directions, I should have used sealing wax over my chalk paint and then applied the antiquing wax. So apply the antiquing wax to the distressed areas and any parts you want to give more attention. Thankfully, if you apply too much, you can remove it with a damp cloth. Work the wax into the surface using a dry cloth and build the color once the wax dries. You can definitely tell I got carried away, so be sure to always follow the wood grain and remember that a little goes a long way. <laughs> After everything's had time to dry, you can seal the finish with a protective top coat or leave as is. Keep in mind what this piece of furniture will be used for. When I was looking into how to use it, a lot of people stated that they didn't think wax was a great idea for things that were going to get used a lot, like dining tables or desks for instance, and it's mostly just for items that are for decoration, but just keep that in mind when you're finishing it or sealing it, especially if you're not going to be using a glass tabletop. For my desk, I left it out overnight to give everything time to dry, and the next morning we added the glass tabletop. All in, this project totaled just under $180, which is why IKEA is often my go-to store for buying certain types of furniture. If I would have built this desk instead of purchasing it at IKEA, the metal piping and attachments would have taken up a huge portion of my budget. So it's definitely not a cheap project, but for the look that I was going for in the end, I'm very happy with how it came out. So here's to a successful and hopefully very productive 2017. As always, any supplies used along with any helpful links will be in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram or Twitter at HeatherMoxie. DIY to see what I'm up to and any projects that I'm working on. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!